Right, something a little bit different for you today, guys and girls. A lesson in plumbing. <laughs> I've got a phone call off my mum this morning saying her kitchen sink was leaking. So, I've bombed around there like you do. And we have to replace the actual waste pipes. So I've been to Wix and I've got new waste pipes. But before I can do that, the U-Bend needs some serious TLC. Look at this. Oh my God, it stinks. And it keeps blocking up. So whoever was living here previously has never done this. Not me. So yeah, we're going to start by cleaning the U-Bend. So I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Okay, so we have a clean-ish U-Bend. As you can see, we have no plug hole at the moment or waste pipe things because my mum rang me with a leak and the whole unit was perished. So, having now been out and bought a new unit, look, shiny, look at this brand new shiny. I've got to fit the waste into there and the pluggy bit into there like that. Okay, so I'll be back with you in a moment. Right, so basically, I've got this new unit here, which has to fit, oops, a daisy, under here. Quite simply, this bit feeds up to there. The other end feeds to the waste, which is your overflow pipe. And then we refit the U-bend. So this piece here goes in from the top and it's got a long screw in it, as you can see there. So we're going to go up to the sink, pop that in, and then send this one up to meet it. Okay? So, back in a minute. Right, so where I'm up to now, I've screwed this screw down into the new part underneath the sink. So, if we go under there, have a quick look. Ah. And we look up here. That there is the new part here yeah? which has the screw coming from down there and there's a rubber seal there this pipe at the back here and if you can see that it's a bit awkward to try and get around this pipe here at the back goes so this pipe here goes up to the overflow which has your plug attached to it and they just screw together as well and this pipe here is the one the new part we've just put on okay all that is left to do now is reattach the now cleaned out u-bend which goes into this hole here first and then this hole here so we'll grab that so yeah this is the u-bend that i've just cleaned okay so that back one there goes onto that pipe there gets screwed on okay and that one goes up to that pipe there and gets screwed up so let's just do that i can't hold this video camera and do the job at the same time unfortunately so i have to keep showing you in bits but hopefully you'll understand what i mean by looking at what i'm doing right so that's the U-bend on there. So as you can see, this piece gets offered up to here and then this gets tightened up there. And then you've got your other piece at the back which goes onto this pipe here and that gets tightened up by this one here. Sorry, camera out of the way. So you do these super tight, as tight as you can go. And then that is up there, so that's your new piece in there with the tube that goes up to the overflow, sink overflow there. Okay, so in theory, now unless it needs any plumber's putty or sealant, in theory that job is done. So let's have a look now and see if it's right or if we have a leak anywhere. This will be moment of truth guys. Okay, so what I've done now, I've just put a little bit of water into the sink here. So 
that's part of the old uh, seal that had gone. Absolutely, um, yeah. It was really, really well perished. It's obviously been in here years before my mum ever moved in. So we've got some water in the sink here. Now we go back under the sink and we have a look to see if we can see any eggs. Let's hope not. Let's go back under here. Okay. So we have a look up here. So, so far so good. Everything looks dry. Now, I'm going to pull the plug. Okay, so you can hear the water running through there. Okay. And I don't see anything leaking at all. You always want to make sure you look around this seal here for any signs of water. Um, I don't see anything at the moment. The U-bend is dry. So yeah, I don't see anything, any problems there at the minute. I'll just give it a couple bit more testing. And I'm not so sure. Okay, so after filling the sink with water and uh, letting it sit there for a few minutes and then emptying the sink, I don't seem to have any leakage anywhere whatsoever. So I think that is well and truly done. Very simple process. Obviously, when you're doing it for the first time, you just like to make sure that uh, you are right. So I think I'm going to leave that with my mum now and just told her to give it 24 hours. And if there is any issues anywhere, I will undo this top unit again here, drop it down and put some uh, plumber's putty on to seal it under the uh, plug itself and where it meets up with the bottom of the sink there so yeah that is how to fit a new overflow and waste pipe in your sink down to your u-bend and to clean your u-bend because that was disgusting i don't know what people used to pour down this sink before my mother moved in but oh my goodness that was uh, an experience and it smelt horrendous. Right, anyway, just thought to do something a bit different. Um, yeah, so have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.